Hello, my name is Christopher. Today I'm going to show you how to install Tailscale on a Proxmox LXC. So this makes it to where you can access this LXC anywhere in the world if you're on the uh, Tailscale VPN network. Um, so a little bit about this series, I'm going over Home Labs and we're installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And let's get started. So this is Tailscale, and it's the website, and you can, it makes it where you can remotely access servers, and you can install the software on each individual server, and then be able to access it, or you can do subnet to routing. So it's available for iOS, Android, uh, Mac OS, a Raspberry Pi, Linux, of course, Windows, and it's for teams, for enterprises, for individuals. There is a free uh, version up to, I think, let's go to the pricing, up to 100 devices. So that makes it to where you can put it on 100 devices and connect to those devices. So we're going to get to installing this on a Proxmox L L LXC and be able to access the LXC anywhere in the world through the v VPN Derp servers. So I created a LXC already. I have Docker and Portainer, and then I installed an a, a example Nginx into the cont a container, uh, the Portainer stacks. So this makes it to where I can test it and see it, that it's actually working in the end of this video. Also, um, I'm going to install Tailscale on the LXC with the Proxmox via helper scripts. And then I'm gonna go in here and show you what I'll be running. And whenever you're running something on your home lab, you always make sure what you're running and go over the uh, code and just see if there's anything malicious or anything like that. And I'm not saying that uh, the Proxmox Video Helper Scripts is malicious at all. I would not be using it if it was. So, um, but I, I'm only human and I looked over the code. Don't see anything that's wrong with it. So, but if you do, uh, you can start an issue on here or uh, let me know in the discord or the YouTube So now I'm gonna go into the CT directory. I'm gonna go to tail scale. I'm gonna type it in and Then this is the add tail scale lxc.sh right here that we'll be running and Then we're gonna set some header info then the script is uh, Asking if that uh, if you did provide the lxc ID um, to the script as the first uh, the first variable and then it's going to have functions for errors and messages it's going to get the ctid this is going to get the lxc id it's going to get it from the first the first argument of the script then it's going to create a config path uh, for etc pve lxc and then it's going to use the the um, the id on the lxc right here then it's going to uh, to set some uh, things so the tail scale can actually run in the LXC. And then it's going to install tail scale right here. It's going to attach to, to the LXC using the ID that we provided up here. And then it's going to run the normal bash command for uh, installing tail scale. Then it's going to exit. And then it's going to say installed tail scale, completed successfully. And then it's going to need you to reboot the LXC and then type in tail scale up to get it up and running. And then we will log in with our tail scale ID. So now we will go into our Proxmox V helper scripts again. And we're going to go to search. We're going to type in tail. And then it's going to have the script down here. So I'll copy it. And after the script finishes, reboot the LXC, then run tail scale up in the LXC console. So I'm going to go ahead and go over to my prox box now and I'm going to get this installed. So now I'm going to go into my uh, node and then my shell and then I'm going to run the command. I'm going to type in my ID. Yours uh, would be different. Mine is uh, set at 700 right here, but yours could be a different number. So make sure you know your number of what your LXC is and what you want to install tail scale on. So I'm going to press return or enter. 
I'm going to say I did replace the 106 with my ID. So yes would be Y. And then it's installing Tailscale on it. Installed Tailscale. And now it completed successfully. So now it wants you to reboot your LXC and get this uh, Tailscale up with Tailscale up right here. So now we need to go to our LXC, which this is mine 700 that I created for this video. Then I'm going to go over to the shutdown up here. I'm going to go to the uh, the drop down on the arrow. I'm going to go to reboot. I'm going to reboot the LXC. It'll say it's terminated and connecting again. So now I'm going to see that it's up again. So I'm going to clear it out. And then I'm going to do tail scale up. And then I'm going to do return or enter. It's going to give me a URL right here. So I'm going to go to this URL. And then I'm going to sign into my Tailscale account. And I'm going to get this machine on my Tailscale console. So now I'm going to go to that login URL in my browser. I'm going to go to the website. And then here you go. You, you can type in your email. You can sign with Google, Microsoft, GitHub, Apple or you can sign with passkey, or um, you can use a QR code right here. So if it's your first time, you can go to here and learn more about it. But I'm gonna sign into my account and then I'll get the machine on my console. So once you log into your Tailscale account, you're gonna see connect the device. You're gonna connect the Docker TS to your Tailscale network. You can see more details right here, but I'm gonna connect right here and then log in successfully. So it should be on your Tailscale network. So now you can come back to Proxmox. You can go into your LXC and if you should already have your console open because it was logging in. Uh, you'll see a success down here. That means you successfully logged in and this Tailscale um, node should be up and running and on your Tailscale console. So you can come back to your uh, Tailscale uh, co console and uh, you'll see one machine down here, Docker TS. That's my LXC that I just added. So you can see it's connected and you can see the address and the Linux. So we got it connected. So now we'll need to create, we'll need to download a client onto your computer to be able to actually access this machine. So you can go up to download right here and then you'll You'll pick your operating system, Mac, iOS, Windows, Linux, Android. So I'll pick Mac and download it. And you can get this installed and it'll be up in your menu bar on Mac. So once you get your Tailscale client installed, you're going to go up to your menu bar and you're going to press login. And then you're going to be presented this page and you're going to log in with your account and get your client connected to the Tailscale console. So now once you get presented with this page and you log in with your account and it's going to say connect device like normal, I'm going to connect it. This will put your device in your machines and it'll be another device added to your account. So now connect, log in successful. So now if you go up to your tail scale, um, your, your, your menu bar in your tail scale, you'll see that it is connected now. So you can see that the multiple the multiple devices are now connected and you can now use your Tailscale client. So now I'm gonna see if Tailscale actually can connect to my LXC from my MacBook. And I'm going to see that the welcome Injinx, ho hopefully see that page through it all. So we're going to go ahead and just see if the IP address for the real LXC works. Now I have multiple networks in the house, so uh, I'm gonna be on a network that has nothing to do with the LXC's network. So I'm gonna go over to the IP address and it's going to say, I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna start up a new tab. So you can see it's not working. It's not going to load. And that's why, because we're on a different network. So I'm going to go up here to Tailscale 
I'm going to turn on tail scale and then I'm going to exit out of this one and I'm going to exit out of this one and then I'm going to go ahead and try to go to the IP address again because you would think this would work because we have tail scale running now and it's not working not coming up with the NGX default page so we're going to have to go into tail scale the client again and network devices my devices and then docker ts right here this is my lxc server that i've created so i'm going to go into it i'm going to paste its its local ip address in and 8080 and this time it should work so this time it worked it showed the nginx default page so you can't use your ip address to your lxc in your tail scale network you have to use your Hell scales IP address right here and then you can get the IP address for your actual client right here so in this video we got tail scale running on LXC and then we installed the client on our computer and we're actually able to connect to that LXC from anywhere in the world as long as you're connected to the tail scale network so I just showed you a really easy way to securely remotely connect to your home lab server uh it uses wire guard under the hood so it creates a whole wire guard network for you and makes it where it's it's extremely easy to manage so uh if, if you like this tutorial subscribe comment like and support the channel and if you have any video suggestions or you need support you can go down to the big bear community and join our discord it's in the youtube description so stay tuned for more